Hey everybody, Dirty Ann here. Oh boy, what is up, fellow Mikado appreciators? Um, so, as you read from the title of the video, uh, we're going to be taking a look at some stuff I got from Tyler, Lackawanna Rail fan. Uh, link in the description to the man's channel. Now, this video is very overdue. Um, I got some things from him oh, about a month ago, and my stupidness re misplaced the footage and I must have deleted it so I couldn't find the video and I promised I would make a video of sorts. But we're going to be doing that stuff next because we've actually got some stuff he sent that honestly I wasn't super ready for but that's fine. Um, and yes Tyler I have to get your things out. Um, we did a little trade. You guys might remember um, one of these Santa Fe Tyco F units. This one I did a video on, I think. But yeah, th this thing is basically ready to go. It it's almost like a factory engine. Um, I've got like 10 of them, and I don't need 10. So I'm gonna, gonna part with a few of them. Uh, but anyways, so for that, I got this. And this is all I knew I was getting. He threw in a couple other things, which is really nice of him. Um, but yeah, so there's a, this is actually a dummy unit. Uh, this has no motor. Um, so the reason I got a dummy unit is not only because, well, it's a dummy unit and I don't see a ton of them. I have the matching A unit for this. So I have an AA set and now I just need to find the B unit. And the correct B unit, because I have one, but it's in the other paint scheme. Tyco did two C and O paint schemes and I have the wrong one. So I have to get the other matching one. But yes, this was the main attraction. Um, it's in real good shape. I gotta find some horns for it. But apart from that, this is a really nice engine. Um, so, anyways, next thing. These, I did not know I was getting. And these are some damn nice freight cars. Uh, I've even got, I believe, this is one of my very, very, very few CNO pieces of rolling stock. I think I have a single hopper, and that is it. Um, so yeah, we've got a Pensy Gondola. I really don't know who makes this. I'm, I'm very curious. Hold on. Let me, let me take a look. I haven't really gotten a look at these. Oh, this is Lima. Interesting. I think I might have a Lima Gondola, but not this same. I really like the paint scheme on both of these. The silver on the boxcar looks wonderful. And it's going to look great with the F units. Um, the problem is the powered engine needs a ton of work. It was missing a bunch of, it was missing every screw in the engine. And by every screw, I mean every single one. All of the mounts for the weight, the motor, the headlight, everything was gone. So I had to steal some screws out of some uh, parts engine, um, which was already destroyed. The shell was ruined uh, to make it run. So that's it for this. Now this is what I traded the uh, Santa Fe F unit for, F9 to be exact for the exact the Mungungos out there. Um, and then we've got something else. This was the first trade I made. I traded um, a Athern Blue Box PA. I almost forgot what I traded. Um, there is a Lackawanna one, and I figured he would want it way more than I did. I probably would never get anything to run with it, and he's literally a Lackawanna rail fan. So it was going to him. And for that... I got my hands on another I-10SA. Now, this engine was not in good running condition when I got it. It actually was missing an entire motor. The motor had been just completely, it was just gutted. Um, the locomotive had run before, but I forget what he, the motor just went bad, so he took it out, and he was looking for somebody to take it in, and I've actually got plans for this guy. Just like 2019, this is actually going to be renumbered. But I'm struggling to find decals, so until I find decals, not much is going to happen to this. Although, I did, I have another I-10 I say. I have, I, I have more. I, they're mostly just absolutely destroyed, but here's one of the nicer ones. But something is very, very wrong with the valve gear on this one, and I have not been able to figure it out. Plus, I think this would make a better static engine, because it's in very good cosmetic shape. Um, and I just really want to see this one run instead of this, so I just figured I'd take the motor out. So I'll have to wait till I get another motor to put it back into this one. But for now, it'll stay on static display, on the new static display track, which you might see in the background, which I haven't finished. Um, and there was one more thing. 
This was, a, this was the only thing I expected I was getting. But Tyler, being the epic man he was, threw in something else. Let me turn on the power. We're going to back it up. The first of which being this really cool caboose. Um, and I'm sure you can guess what is heading up at the train. Um, we have got a Rock Island. I forget what type of Alco this is. I can't remember the type. I'm sure he'll know or somebody will know. Um, he told me. I, I honestly couldn't remember. Um, see, when I got this, first of all, this thing is super cool. And I'm so happy to have another addition to the Rock Fleet. Thank you, Tyler, for throwing this in. He even gave me the original boxes. And, yeah. So, basically, there was one issue with it. Now, that, that was the exact issue I didn't run it. Is because it didn't run all that well. And I don't know why. I guess maybe Tyler's track is just different. But it just refused to run on my track right. I'd cleaned it and everything. Um, so, today, actually, I decided to rebuild it. Um, I went completely through every, uh, all, everything. It just came all apart. Um, and I cleaned everything. I went through both trucks, the motor. Uh, and I found, I think the biggest issue was the wipers. And there was so much crap in there. And it wasn't picking up power very well. That was the reason. It was very, very jumpy. Um, yeah. And I actually did a little bit of a mod to this. You might notice the wheels are nearly black. Like, and on the bottom, they're real shiny. So what I did... I painted the outsides black, and I think that improves the look of this engine by like 10 times. I have always disliked, let me actually just grab an example here. Here is another, what, what like model power, I, I forget what, this is AHM. But yeah, I've always been annoyed by the silver of the wheels. It's hard to tell on camera. The lighting is not very great right, right here. But that is something that has always bothered me, and I figured it would make it look a million times better. And not only does it look better now, but it runs exceptionally well. I think it might have just been the shipping must have knocked something around. I honestly don't know. Um, and yes, I'm running this long hood forward. Long hood forward supremacy. Um, but yes, this thing runs so well. And um, here, I'll take you guys for a little tour here we'll run this thing look at that i'd say that's pretty pretty good with just a bit of well a little bit more than a bit oh by the way i built that acura box car there it is it looks awesome that was my first acura kit uh i had filmed the video but it turned out terrible so i scrapped it um sorry uh but anyways yes i built that kit but this is a wonderful addition to the Rock Fleet. And now we've got this guy. And and I, I'm going to be honest, this thing is like silent almost. It, it is so quiet. You would not believe how well you can get some of these engines to run with just a little bit of effort. Um, I even surprise myself sometimes with how well you can get some of these to run. But yes, that is it. I have finally made a video showing the things I got from Tyler. Tyre, uh, duh. Tyler, I'm sorry for the delay. This video should have came out a month ago. Um, but yes, it's out. And here's your things. Um, you will get your F unit very soon. I literally just need to make like five more dollars before I can ship it. And then that's it. And then I got to ship some other things to people um, that you already know. And the, yes. Oh, by the way, to um, Dylan, friend, if you're watching all the way at the end of this video, your F unit's finished. Um... I just figured I would mention that. But that doesn't apply to anything about this video. Um, but yes. Looks absolutely wonderful. And yes, it does have a headlight, but it's at the other end because it's not supposed to be ran long hood forward. But I like what it looks like long hood forward, so, you know, whatever. But yes, that's going to do it. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this little video. Um, I honestly was just doing this mostly for Tyler's convenience. Um, plus... I felt bad about not making a video about this yet, so I felt like I should really get a video out. Um, and I don't know if I... Yeah, I definitely mentioned. But yes, this caboose was with the engine. That's kind of a combo, I guess. Some some sort of specialty thing that you could get from model power. Um, but yeah, so that will do it. Um, and yeah, I guess I'll see you guys next time.